kind of take away from that game and the message to the guys? Well, I don't, I don't think we came out with the energy level and the focus that we needed to uh, to start the game, in particular the first probably 15 minutes of the game. Certainly not to take anything away from Boston, you know, because they're a team that on offense, if, if you don't guard them, they'll make you pay. I mean, they shoot the ball very similar percentages in bulk amount as a Michigan does. And we know that uh, from playing them twice how dangerous they can be from the three-point line. So, but I just didn't think we had enough uh, competitive toughness. I didn't like our energy level. I didn't like our focus. I thought a key juncture in the game, which wasn't talked about much after the game, really by me or the media watching it now after the fact, is the last four minutes of the first half. They took it from 17 to 9. That was big. Um, so I thought that we responded pretty well there and at least gave ourselves or put ourselves in a position where we had an opportunity to make a few plays in the second half. You know, fortunately, our, our energy and our, our focus, I thought, was much better in the second half. And uh, we were able to make some plays, you know, down the stretch. But, you know, I think the message is you have to be ready, you know. Um, you have to be ready to play a 40-minute basketball game in, in any postseason tournament. I think the NCAA tournament shows that today, you know, and yesterday. The NIT tournament shows that. If you're not ready to play, it's a one-game deal. And uh, there are a lot of good players, a lot of good coaches, a lot of different styles and if you're not ready, then it can be, you know, it, it, it can put you in a position where you don't have a chance to get the result that you want. So, you know, I think our guys have learned that throughout the year. And, uh, you know, that was another moment I thought the other night where we had a chance to teach them a little bit. Stats-wise, Clemson looks a lot like you guys. They do. Yeah, we've talked about that a lot. I told our guys, uh, you know, from an uh, offensive perspective as well as defensive perspective, very similar. Uh, they're really, really good defensively. Long, they block shots, they guard the ball well, they rotate well, uh, they challenge shots well, they rebound well. You know, I, I think on that end of the court, you know, obviously you looked at the statistics. I mean, they're one of the best teams in the country on the defensive end of the floor. You know, so we're going to have, uh, you know, it's going to be a challenge. We've got to do a great job, I think, of moving the basketball, moving bodies, because uh, they really load it up against you. Uh, a little bit like we do. So, you know, we, we've got to do a good job of executing offensively. Yeah, in some respects, yeah. You know, obviously, Brad, i got a great uh, deal of respect for Brad. I've known him for some time. I coached against him when I was at Ohio. Uh, I've always watched his teams from afar, even when he was at UNC Wilmington. You know, Brad is from the Midwest as well, uh, Evansville native. And uh, blue-collar guy, his teams play that way. They play with a lot of physicality, a lot of toughness. Um, they take on his disposition for sure. And, uh, you know, they've, they've, they've had a – I think this is only the fourth time maybe in program history you'd have to ask DB. And that's totally accurate where they've won 10 or more ACC games. You know, they made the tournament, I believe, in his first year with 22 wins. He's done a really good job. I have an appreciation for the job he's doing there because I was at NC State 96 through 2000. And, and uh, you know, I, I think he's done a great job. So it's going to be a, a great challenge, certainly. Both Gray and Tracy, to a greater extent, have had trouble this year when they try to do too much driving against <coughs> shot blockers and pack deep uh, So how do you overcome that? Well, I mean, they have. I think it's a great point, Rob. I thought early on especially um, as we started to play in Big Ten play, I think they've adapted a little bit. Um, they've gotten a lot better at it, but you're right. I think playing off penetration is really what you're talking about there. When you play against teams that block shots at the level that Clemson does, you have to be willing passers, and you have to read situations well. You get in the paint, you've got to decide whether you've got an angle and an opportunity to score or, or whether or not you've got to pass. You know, and, and those guys, I think, have gotten better at that, but you know, I would agree with that. There's been times, especially early, where you know maybe we didn't make the greatest decisions there once we got in there. So... I, I think Ray and Tracy have learned and gotten better.